Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.net and here we are back again in the RPG item system. Today's going to be a fun day, we're going to be doing some cleanup. Alright, so we'll go ahead, we have to jump in, we need our scripts, actually editor scripts, the IS quality, and the IS quality database editor is the one we're looking for. Okay, so right at the top here is where we're going ahead and creating our database, and it's going to change, because now we're going to create our database a little bit different. And I have to think about this for a second because we're we have to pass in an IS object here, and this isn't an IS object. Oh, sorry, an IS object database and a IS object, which neither one of them are. So we might have to do a little bit of work there, but regardless, I'm gonna close both of those. And I also wanna change this here where we're going ahead and passing it in this way. Actually, no, I like it this way. I think it's down on the enable that I wanted to switch it, where we go ahead and Passing the type that's going to be pat or passing the string that's going to be displayed on the create button. I think I'd rather have that on the the database file side. But let's keep working on this. So we'll go ahead. We'll open this up. Okay, we'll do it the the old-fashioned way. And we got to move some of these around in here as well. But we'll again as we get time, we'll do it. Okay, so where D is a scriptable object database T, and T is an IS object. So the first part we should be fine with. And we'll open this up, and it is one. And what was the um, default that we needed for this? All we had to do was pass in a class, and it would store any class. Okay, so the easy thing to do here, since we know that we can go ahead into IS quality and add IS quality database, uh, which is that second parameter we need. The easy thing to do is just to go ahead and take the, I think it's IS quality, right? Is that the classes that we're gonna be using here? Yeah, right here. And go ahead and make that inherit from IS object. But I don't wanna just go all willy-nilly making things inherit that way. But let's go ahead and take a look to see what we do have. Uh, so we do not have a, oh, we do have a parameter list constructor. And we have one that has a parameter. So all we're getting is a string and the sprite. That's it. We do not have an on GUI function or anything. And with the way the editor is set up, we don't need one. Uh, did I do everything in one script here on GUI? So if the quality database is equal to null, we'll just return. Other than that, yeah, so it's doing a list view. So we got a very short one here. It looks like we're doing everything. Oh, no, we don't have the list view here. Where is this? There's the second part, and I want to keep them both together. Yeah, right here. I thought the other one looked a little too short. <laughs> okay, so if we switch over to the other one, we're going to have to do a, redo a lot of this as well, uh, which is fine because a lot of this can... Um, hmm. So it actually might be better to start off with our editor over here, get it all cleaned up, then jump into this. Because uh, we're going to be getting rid of probably this whole script, or this part here anyway. But we still have to take into consideration how we want to handle that second parameter. But you know what, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and clean this up first, because we don't need it anymore. So anything that's commented out now, let's actually before we do, let's go ahead and make sure that it still works. Oh yeah, we, we did the test, we, we haven't touched, test, uh, touched it since then. Uh, come on, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit save, there we go. We'll create a weapon. Again, we are waiting on four. Apparently if you click in it, you uh, get it right away. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, that's saving as well. So everything's fine there. So let's go ahead and we'll clean this one up first, just so we know what we're gonna be have to work with uh, in comparison. If it's already commented out, get rid of it. And the stuff we know we're gonna to wanna to get rid of, comment out now. Oh, no, we need those. We'll comment those out. And it really is just a matter of digging through your, your code. All this. And I'm gonna go back to about. It's my code, I can do what I want. <laughs> that, that, oh, wrong way, Get rid of that, and that's it for this script. Now we'll have problems in the other one, which I actually think we'll just be deleting. But we'll go ahead, we'll save this off, we'll make sure everything is saved, we're going to jump back in, we'll get a bunch of errors about the database, or we'll just get one or two. And the only errors we're getting are right here, so we should be getting more. There we go. All right, so uh, we don't need that one. Let's go ahead, we'll take a look at it. I just wanna take a look at the class at the top, IOS, 
Uh, yeah, so we actually don't need this script anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And what was the other one? I have object, details, details, list view. I do not need either one of these. So we'll go ahead, just follow the path, editor, object, ISO, object, editor. Uh, let's stretch this out a bit, just to make sure that we're in there. Even though I back my stuff up on a Git server, even deleting files for me is even scary. Uh, make sure you go ahead and back up your project somewhere, even if it's just nothing more than just closing down Unity and just copying the actual folder that your project saved in. It is so important to do that because I see so many times where people are like, oh my God, something happened and I just lost my whole project. Personally, I would take a look at the series I have on setting up uh, a Git repo and go with that. But uh, if you, for some reason you can't do that, uh, at least back it up by copying it. Oh, it's right here. All right, now we're gonna go for the IS, IS object. I keep calling it ISO object, but it's IS object list view. IS object list view, uh, and I'm just checking the name. IS object editor. Ah, see, here we go. Like you're getting rid of uh, those two files. Uh, they actually held the, the sizes. So uh, I think that's the second one we got rid of, the list view one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. And I'll open it in a different project, but not Adobe Dreamweaver. And it won't let me because it's in the trash. That's fine. We'll just bring it up here. Uh, these are the variables I need. And the ones we're complaining about right now is button size and list view width. List view width. And here's button size down here. I'll go ahead, cut both of them out. We'll come back in here. I'll go throw them up at the top. Um, I want them after the database. Should satisfy those. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into Unity. And uh, that is it. And I wanna close this down because it's not part of the project anymore. And uh, for a second there, I thought it was broken. I was like, no, what do I do? But then I noticed it said uh, about. So weapon, armors, click and edit. Uh, oh, everyone, weapons. Weeple, weapon. Without the A? Sure. Because we know my channel's not about the punctuation. How about Arma 4 or 2? Yeah, sure. Where my fingers land, that's where they land. <laughs> All right, so those are, are working. Can we hit Create? And once we click back in here, we get it. Hmm, that really does annoy me. So yeah, everything's working. Great, let's go in and get rid of all the things we just commented out. And I do want to comment up here. Uh, the databases that we will be using. Uh, scroll down slowly. It's not a rush. Look for your happy code. Make lots of happy code. This is our editor script now. Can you believe it? This is the complete editor script. Everything is done in this class as far as its layout goes and actually dealing with the database as well. So we've just had to make our uh, tab bar, really. I think that's the only functionality we have in here. Great, so let's go ahead and, uh, so what do we have? We have our, our setup, our static method, our enable, and our on GUI. And that means when we come in here, uh, we're still gonna have all this stuff. I do actually wanna, what we could do instead of actually refactoring all this, let's go ahead and just make the IS quality a tab here. And I'm thinking about it because the amount of work that we're gonna do reworking it, it'd probably just be faster to do it over here because we just gotta add a tab. And I've really been wondering what to do with the about tab because I don't really want an about tab. I want some place where it's about, like the start screen, but uh, I don't really want it up here. This could easily be qualities. And I'm gonna want sub tabs later on too, because I know eventually I'll just have more. Yeah, because this editor is gonna hold so many things as we start uh, developing further and further along. You can go ahead and just have uh, your, your complete RPG I don't know, editor. And inside you'll have like your spell system. You can click that tab. You'll have, you know, like your quest system, NPCs, AI behaviors, all the stuff can be stored in, in one big editor. And as long as you keep the code fairly clean, and especially since we're gonna be working with generics for a lot of it, it shouldn't be that bad. But since the IS quality is part of the item system project that we're working on, I think I am gonna to try to keep just one editor per I keep forgetting that about El Capitan. Where's my mouse? Anyway, I, I am going to go ahead and actually put it in here. There's no point in having two separate editors. And I know I'm rambling about a lot, but this is a code long, and I like to share my thought process as I go along. 
as opposed to the traditional tutorials where I just sit down and go, here's the code, here's how it works. So we're going to come down. We'll have to go to the toolbar. Where is that stored? Tab state. It's in the top bar, which makes sense. So about is now quality. And I'll save it there. And I want to come down here and change this tab to, or at least the name of it. So I'll have to come all the way down here. And I've made a huge faux poo. Don't just go renaming things. Refactor them. And for those that don't know, when you rename something, it renames it here, but any place that references it, it doesn't get changed, where if you hit the refactor and do the rename, it'll go through your whole project, make those changes there as well. So let's say, you know, this uh, tab state dot about, I've got you know, like 50 places in my, in my project scattered variously throughout scripts. It'll actually go through and change all of those for me. So I don't have to hunt them down. Now, sure, when I go ahead and just go to Unity, it's going to give me all those errors. I can go there and change them one by one. But why would you do that when you can just do it this way? And capitalized. All right. Looks, looks like I spelt it right. So we'll come down here and we notice it changed it automatically for me. And I'm also going to do it with the function name. It's also important to take note. So quality tab. Quality. For a little bit of extra credit for your project, go ahead and take a look at how these are all done. They're all the exact same. And we could actually put them in a for loop where it would actually iterate through this whole thing. And it would automatically assign the name based on our tab state and also our tab state as well. You can go ahead and assign it based on the integer. So for extra homework, go ahead and redo that. I'll probably will at some point down the line, but for now, I'll leave that for you. All right, so we've got that done. We should be able to jump into Unity, start this back up, and it didn't update. Well, you know update. I saved, right? We do need to change this to quality. I should have updated. Oh, we got an error, finally. Well, oh, nope, my error's gone. Dang it. There we go. I guess it just took a while for all the code to compile in the background, default state quality. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up a quality database and we're gonna set it up here instead of in here. But again, I have to look to see exactly what we're gonna need from it. So I'll just copy this, paste this. This is an IS quality, well, uh, database, uh, IS quality, which will not work because it does not fit the parameters. It won't even let me put it in, eh? Canadian? <laughs> oh, well, let me put it in. IS quality. Yeah, but it's going to err because it's not an, it does not inherit from IS object. And uh, we'll need a new name here. I'm going to call it quality uh, DB. And I'm going to go ahead, copy, paste Reno. What we've already done. And uh, we need a name for it. So quality database. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead, we'll store it in there. And I'll, I'll give you a little tip. You notice how we're making all of these things more and more generic so that they all work together so easily with the same scripts. Eventually, you could actually go ahead and make a database. And we'll just come over just to give you a visual on it. You could come over here and have a database that contains, get out of there, Dropbox. Should have paused that. Uh, that actually contains more than just one list in here. And you could actually put, you know, your your armor here, then the next list is your weapons, and the next list is your your list is your quality and your potions. You could actually organize it all into one file. Now I went ahead and made them separate because it's just easier to start that way when we're creating the series. And I'll probably leave them separate because I might want to just go ahead and just say, oh, I'm just gonna take weapons over to this other game I'm making or something. And I don't have to worry about bringing the whole thing over and then mass deleting stuff out of it. But it is something to think about and maybe something you want to do for your game. Extra credit. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and... Why is this not... Why did this turn blue? It should have aired. There we go. Oops, didn't mean to double click it. So if we look down here, it tells us... Um, Based in order to use this as parameter T in the generic type or method, Berg's arcade dots, uh, right there. So it has to be convertible. ISO quality, ISO object. And we did open this up. 
And if we go ahead and open up ISO object, we're done with this one. I'm going to close some of these ones that we're done with. I'm going to keep this one open because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of editing in here. And I'm going to keep this one open just for now as well. Uh, we're going to need this. Uh, possibly, so yeah, the rest we need. So let's go ahead and we'll open up ISO object. It's just under scripts, ISO objects. And where do we have quality in this? This list, we'll close those down. So, so IS quality is down here. It's not an ISO object. And again, I'm not sure if I want it to be. So let's just go ahead and look at the default. So we've got a constructor, a permanent constructor, then we have the other one. Uh, the clone property might be nice to have on a quality, but we don't need a lot of these values on a quality. And we definitely don't want a quality possessing a quality. So we, that's out of the question. We can't go ahead and just make uh, IS quality inherit from IS object. So we have to think of a different way to do it. And to the best of my knowledge, we can't have an or statement in our constraints for our generic, but that doesn't mean we can't inherit from something else that's uh, both of these inherit from. So we could have something that's like an you know, IS database object and it contains just the base methods or we could just make it an interface and it will just have the, the basic structure that we need for the methods we need for our database or for our editor. And in here it loads the quality database. And you know, I think this is where we're actually getting our error. I'll have to check into that. Uh, but we're eventually going to be moving some of this stuff out anyway. So I'm not worried about this stuff because we're going to be moving this out of the class. It's this. Again, we don't have a burden for quality. So we have to think of some other way. So what do we use? If we made an interface, IS database, uh, what would we need for it? So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles. And falcons, lions, tigers, and bears.